Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. In the last video, we have seen a different types of API provided by the Java Persistence API repository, and we have seen basic methods and how to write our custom query or any complex query and define a method very easily. So, and when we return an API result, by default, the Spring Boot is returning as a JSON. See here we just mentioned an object, student, a list of students and student and Spring Boot automatically converts into a JSON and we will get a response. So let's first start a project and request for student details. Let's go to Postman. So this is the URL to get all the student details. See here as you can observe we have got a JSON response. So in Spring Boot, we have not mentioned anywhere to return a JSON response. We just returned an object, it automatically converts into a JSON. Suppose I want an XML here, I don't want a JSON response. So this also supports by Spring Boot. In headers, we just need to mention we want we want an XML, not a JSON. So the parameter is accept. And here just mention we need XML. And now let's request the student details. See here, the Spring Boot is not returning any details. But if you mention here a JSON and request now, we will get a JSON response. So we are saying the Spring Boot is so powerful, why it is not returning an XML response when we request for an XML? Because by default it provides a JSON, so Spring Boot automatically downloads a JARS, a Jackson JARS related to the JSON. See these are the Jackson core. So that's why it by default converts to JSON. If you want XML response, we need to have a dependencies related to XML. So what we need to do, we just need to go to maven repository. So just search Jackson XML. So let's go Jackson data format XML. So there are so many versions. Let's go and see the Jackson core 2.11.3. See here you can see 2.11.3, let's have the same version. 2.11.3. So let's copy this dependency and let's put it in POM XML. Just keep here and let's save it. Here the dependencies will get downloaded from the internet and it will keep in a local. So it is downloading the resources. So it got downloaded and now let's relaunch the app. We just kept uh, XML dependencies. We have not changed any code. Let's relaunch the app. And go to now postman and now request for XML. Now we have XML and now send the request. See the magic of Spring Boot. We have got an XML response. If you want a JSON response, just change to JSON, we will get JSON response. So this is the magic of Spring Boot. We just added the XML dependencies. At first, this dependency is not downloaded automatically by the Spring Boot because by default it will have a JSON dependencies. If you have both dependencies, it will be overloaded. That's why it won't provide. Suppose now, now Spring Boot provides both JSON and XML. Now I want restrict to provide only XML or JSON. I, I will provide either one. Suppose let's say I want to provide only XML. I won't provide JSON. How to restrict from server side? Here, if I access a JSON, it should not work. If I access XML, it should work. So server side, we need to restrict. So let's have a parameter here. get mapping and this is the path 
and we have one more like produces what it will produce i want to provide only excel so i don't want to provide json if you want to provide xml and json you can have a comma separated and you can have json also so what else you want to provide now relaunch the app and let's see it will work or not let's go to postman now our server will provide only xml we are requesting for xml and sending the request we have got xml let's request for json see this is not acceptable the acceptable thing is only xml see this is the magic of spring boot see suppose in post method let's say post and here if you observe we are sending a json data as a request body suppose server server now accepts a json but server wants to accept only the xml how the server can restrict here we can have one more parameter consumes and let's mention application or xml and relaunch the app let's go to the postman and let's try to send the post request we are sending the new students details in a json format if you can see the headers content type we have mentioned as json just send the request so here we have got the correct result what is wrong consumes we have mentioned only the xml let's see database whether it got inserted or not so how to access the h2 database h2 console let's connect it select star from student so the new value got inserted with 104 so but we have accepting only the xml okay what the request we are accepting is the post request not the get request we need to mention those limits for this method let's copy and paste here let's paste it here so this is the path and it produces xml and consumes only the xml not the json now let's relaunch before we have kept restrictions for other method and we are accessing this post request let's go to the postman and now let's try it should not work see unsupported media type if we pass the data as xml it will work just take any example let's go here let's go to the body and let's pass let's change to student unsupported this is the xml let's try to post it let's change the headers content type as xml see the error has gone now let's send the request see now it worked let's change the point 106 ramesh new and let's post it let's see the database now see the new data got inserted so this is how we can restrict 
all the request format and the response format in the server side with using produces what type of the response is and the consumes what type of body it will consume. If you want to have both XML and JSON, we can remove these restrictions or we can have one more like this. Like consumes, we can have application slash JSON. Now it will accept both XML and JSON. Here in this body, we can send both XML and JSON. Basically, the content type, either it can be XML or JSON. So this is the beauty of Spring Boot REST APIs. I hope you liked this video and understood how to pass both types of XMLs and JSONs and how to receive both types of XML and JSON responses. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.